Now, some junior high students in Iroquois County may no go to another school next year. This comes after Crescent City Grade School is facing teacher shortages and limited extracurriculars. The question to deactivate part of the school will be on the ballots next week. Now, WCIA 3's Amanda Brennan is with us. Amanda, this school year, the superintendent says all three teachers who teach junior high were retired. That's right, Renee, and I talked to teachers, including one of them who's retired. She returned to the classroom this year teaching 6th, 7th, and 8th grade history. She says her class sizes are so small that she feels her students are missing out on key social and academic aspects of school. It's time for them to have a larger environment. Julie Dunn is a junior high social studies teacher at Crescent City Grade School. You know, you have a class of maybe three or eight or five, you know, instead of 16 or 20. She retired after 27 years at Unit 9 in Watsika, but answered the call this year when Crescent City had a shortage. Dunn says this year has been challenging and she wants to see her students in a bigger environment with more options. That's why she's voting yes on her Iroquois County ballot when asked if they should deactivate the junior high part of the school. If it closes, Rod Grimsley, the superintendent, says families will choose between Cisna Park, Watsika, or Iroquois West instead. We felt like this would be the best for our students moving forward. We just don't feel like our kids are getting exposed enough to the different social opportunities that they could have. Uh, also social help. We do not have social workers that we have on staff here. He says there would be no impact on teachers because all three who currently teach 6th through 8th grade would go back to retirement. If the changes happen, the school would just be kindergarten through 5th grade starting next year. Stephanie Rippey is a current 1st grade teacher in the building. Everybody clapped and called out for more songs from the Centipede. But she's also a mom with students in the district. The other surrounding schools offer clubs and band, music. And she wants her daughter to be able to participate. She loves the marching band, so she's definitely looking forward to that. The school board's president says all seven board members are in agreement with the decision to deactivate the junior high. The superintendent says they've looked into this motion before, but COVID acted like a red light and stopped them from moving forward. If it isn't passed, he says they're not yet sure how they'll adjust. Renee. Amanda, thanks so much.